Lena, I'm I, I'm blown away that you that your first experience was the sister of of Itzhak. Um, can you talk about your first time getting cast in Hedwig? That must have been astound, astonishing. Yeah, I uh, I had an epic audition. Epic. epic. <laughs> I really, when I heard the show was coming to Broadway, I was like, I have to be in it. I ha There's just no way I can't not be in this show. I have to. So I went in and I, I understood the character of Yitzhak pretty well. I knew he was a man and there was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He's a man. So I was like, I have to go in as a man. And so I did. I, I came in and I was like, it's a rock show. So for my very first audition, which was literally like two people in the room, um, <laughs> <laughs> there I was, I was full man, and I brought my guitarist from my band to be my, my um, accompanist, and they called my name, and I had him go in first with his guitar, and I came with my little Marshall amp to a little rehearsal space, and I brought the Marshall amp in, and I plugged in and set him up, my guitarist, and then I was like, you know, hello, my name is Lena Hall, and I'll be singing, um, what did I sing? What do I sing? <sighs> Why, what? No, no, I, I sang, because um, we got to sing one of our own, on, our own choices. And th there was a list of songs that they wanted us to sing, and I ended up singing something completely not even related to what they wanted me to sing. But what was the list? It was <laughs> I don't know what that list <laughs> We'll talk about that later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Kiss Me Deadly. I sang Kiss Me Deadly by Lita Ford. I was wow. like, I'm going to rock and roll. Fuck wow. this. So so, <laughs> yeah, so, so I did that. And I also, I also sang Long Grift and stuff like that. Whatever. So for my final. Whatever. For whatever. <laughs> stupid song that dumb song uh, <laughs> and then uh, and then for my final callback I came in and I did the material for them and pretty much the same setup and 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 did all the material from the show and for my final callback they, they were like can you come in and we want you to tell a story you tell a joke we want you never to break characters so the minute you come in you're Yitzhak and until you leave whatever we're gonna ask you questions and then you're gonna do an improv scene with John I was like oh my god I, I, I like was falling out of my seat I was gonna die because I was such huge fans and just being in the room with Steven and John at once was like heart attack city so between my show I was in kinky boots at the time it was a Wednesday and uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and if you if you saw Kinky Boots, I played like the the um, kind of like really uh, bitchy. A materialistic bitchy, you know, uh, from Northampton, and uh, I just wanted shoes, and I was all about these shoes and whatever. And uh <laughs> and so right after the show was my audition for Hedwig between shows on a Wednesday, and so I like got into drag, I ran to my audition. And then they made me wait for half an hour because the producer went to my Kinky Boots Christmas party <laughs> <laughs> and was coming from there, David. And then, uh, so <laughs> he's here. And, uh, and so I waited and I was like, oh my God, I think I'm gonna die. I went in the room and the first thing they were like, well, you wanna tell the story? So I told them a two and a half minute story. I made up this whole backstory for Yitzhak that I came from um, uh, like this small town in, in Croatia that um, was the sole producer of the yak hair for the wigs in Cats on Broadway. And it was a boom town. <laughs> it was a boom town. And, and so like, this was how I knew about theater. This was, you know, this is how my character knew about theater. That he grew up, you know, in, in, in like a industrial town. And it went under when Cats closed on Broadway. Like the town went, <laughs> And his mother died in a big fire because she had hoarded all the yak hair and died from smoking a cigar. A cigar and it all, and what was left over was the t my tape for Rent from Rent the musical. And I was like, I was like, this is my mother's way to tell me to go after my dreams and come to New York and be on Broadway and Rent. And so, you know, I come to New York and I go to the theater and it's closed and in its place is Newsies. And so my whole the whole. I had to come up with this reason why I was in the room in the first place as Yitzhak, because I couldn't be auditioning for Hedwig as Yitzhak. Like, I had to be there for a reason. So my, my idea was that I was going to get them to donate to my Kickstarter campaign to bring Rent back to Broadway so I could star <laughs> as Angel. And I did an entire, after my two and a half minute monologue, I did an entire two and a half minute video that I just calmly brought a, a MacBook, this isn't an audition, brought a MacBook out and I opened it up and I just pressed play and there was my video for two and a half. No, and the whole time I'm like, this is brilliant. I'm thinking like, I did it, I nailed it, whatever. 
And the whole time I'm doing this, not a sound. Nobody laughed, nobody made a sound. The only person who did anything was John Cameron Mitchell. He once was like, nah. that's like it. <laughs> He just does that sound, though. That's just yeah. a sound that he makes. It's every Everyone. couple of minutes, it just comes yeah. out. Silence. I was like, oh, my God, I bombed. I completely blew it, whatever. I did the songs then, and then I did this improv scene with John where he kissed me, and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and then I left. It was a 40-minute audition, and then I ran for my audition because I was late for my half hour for my night show. Ran back to my night show, tore everything off, went and was back to, you know, Nicola, I want the shoes, I want the shoes. And... Uh, <laughs> And then, like, and then I found out randomly that I got the job, and I, I randomly I, sounds like it's pretty precise after like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that mon was it monologue. Was a your monologue, was, your no, monologue was way more than two and a half minutes. It was. <laughs> <laughs> My mind is blown right now. I, they <laughs> gave it. To, they felt like bad for minutes. you. They were like, just take it. Jeez. Have you it was that? ten minutes with the long pauses of Yitzhak. Yeah, and if you speed if read you, it on a page. Yeah, if you speed read it on a page, it's sort of it. Okay, it was long. But it was a long it was a, but long they effort. were intrigued. It was intrigued. Even. They were intrigued. Yeah. And and then and then when I got the job, um, I I don't know. I It was the best audition I had a ever. Hard time. Yeah. Was it? I mean, no, you've it was, been it part was, of the audition was, process for all the iterations of Head. I I'm I'm pretty sure uh, do, do, do correct me if I'm wrong, but but people took the tape of that audition and they showed it in cla acting classes. This is I was going to say, this can is we how see to audition, this tape? This is how to audition for a show and teach, acting yes, teachers. Yes, it's used show, as like an that. example. When I say it's the best audition ever, it is literally the best audition ever. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm waiting for it to surface. Absolutely, God. Yeah.